Hi, Sandy here. Today I'm going to make some borders and tags and a couple of glue book pages. I've got a whole bunch of stuff ready to glue together. Um, on my last video, it was about making those, these little tiny tags. <laughs> and um, at the beginning of the video, I showed you all of these bunnies and other little things that I printed from Pinterest and I'm using every one of them. Usually I put them in with my stuff and I save them for later but I don't know why <laughs> but I'm I'm I just couldn't wait to use them up. Um, I gotta push this little hole out of this tag to make it look like a tag. Okay uh, and so I've gathered some stuff up and I'm probably gonna add a few more little things as I go. Uh, so this is a from a cereal box or something and I glued scrap paper on. Um, my regular viewers know that I have a whole box of these tags. Plus I've got this back. I call these my raw tags and they're they're cut up from cereal boxes and and the back covers of, of uh, paper pads, all kinds of stuff. These are my raw tags. And I keep a good supply of those on hand and then I I go through and I do a batch and I I use scrap paper and I uh, and I cover them then from there I create my tags and also um, my tags and my borders you know I love to have my little tiny scraps of paper hanging off the edges and I've got this whole box I save the tiniest little scraps. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of weird. And and those I use for my little things. I think it, I just think it adds a more interest, and I don't like to waste anything. Um, and one thing I wanted to show you. This was in today's junk mail, <laughs> and um, should I throw it away or can I use it for something? Well. I cut the letters off and, and would I want that on a glue page? Not really. No, it doesn't do anything for me. But hey, cut out all these little watch faces. There's some good embellishments. So, have an open mind with your junk mail and stuff and you can put things to creative uses. So, I um, don't really have this totally planned out, but uh, here's one of my circles that I punched with. this my new favorite punch and I'm gonna glue that then um, I'm gonna glue this it right in the center of it I've got a lot of these little circles I cut all kinds of stuff and I just try so hard to use them up and you know what I think I want that to stand out so I'm going to get my brown marker. This is kind of going with a brown theme a little bit. So I'm going to circle around that. If I was thinking I would have. Um, looks better on the outside of it. I would have used my distress ink. But I know it almost looks like a flower. That's good. Okay so then I've got this. Cute little bunnies just for no reason. I usually go through and I add words to my stuff but I decided mm, not this time. So let's see. I'm gonna add that right here and, and I like to put my stuff at an angle just a little quirk I have. And then here's this little tag. I'm gonna glue the back of that. When I made these I thought they're too tiny to use as is. So um I'll be adding them to other things. And then I've got this. This is a flower sticker. We're going to put that right there. And um, let's see. Oh, let's go with some pink. I'm going to find something to put I got a little foam flower there. I like to get rid of this stuff. 
Sometimes the, the glue just dries up on these. I've had these since my daughter was a child. There. Um, no. This should have been in purple. Um, there. Maybe one more little thing. I'm trying not to add a lot of um, 3D stuff to my things. Alex, let the dogs out, please. Because I'm reaching for my glue dots. Because I, I like to use them for... Um, They will be gone in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> My daughter's letting them outside. They they get excited. I don't know why. Okay, there is one finished. What I was saying, when I put these in my glued glue books, I don't like a lot of bumpy things on them. Some people don't mind bumpy stuff on their pages. Great in my pa on my scrapbook pages. That's what I usually use them for because um, they're in the page protectors and I don't worry about them. But the glue books do not have page protectors. I've spent a lot of money on page protectors with that. Um, so let's do something besides a bunny now. Um, to save time, I went ahead and, and um, glued these little tags down. I like to add those. Um, here's a little thing I made a long time ago with Spirograph. Uh, I'm wondering if I should... No, I'm not going to trim it. Yeah, I think I will. Do some quick fussy cutting. Cut it. Yeah. So I've noticed my videos have kind of uh, progressed or evolved into chatty videos because that's what I like to watch um, and a lot of my viewers say that they like it because usually I will watch videos while I'm scrapbooking on my laptop here and or playing with my stuff. and. I don't feel like being bothered every time a new video starts to shut down the ads and find a new one that I want to watch. So I've, uh, I watched a f like four or five ladies that just chat. <laughs> they just chat while they work. Um, there's Roxy Creations and I, I thought she was probably from the UK but it turns out she's from, um, uh, Italy. Now she's got this accent and, and I just like listening to her talk. And I like it when they have accents so they, they don't have to. But I like listening to her. And she, but none of them really make glue books. A few of them make um, journals with the pockets and things like that. And they have Etsy channels, Etsy channels and they, they sell their stuff. And um, so and they talk a lot and I just I just it's like having a friend here with me with me uh crafting and and I like that. So that's kind of what I've invo evolved into. So I I just chat and um so that's that's why I I just talk a lot. And I've I've seen women on on some of my my uh groups and facebook you know i ask what kind of videos do you like oh i just can't stand those chatty videos that would be so boring well they're not for everybody but some people like them and that's what i like you know and they play some of them are like over an hour long <laughs> and that's great because i can just keep on w playing and and honest to god i don't even hardly look at the at the screen most of the time so so that's just ideal for me. Um, I'm looking for some orange little things to doctor this up a little bit. Um, but so that's I've I've kind of evolved into into um, 
making the chatty videos and some of my other favorites are um, Gail Agno Ag Agnosti Gail Agnosti she makes journals and she's very chatty um, Diane H she also makes journals she's very chatty um, who else Roxy Creations Oh, Shannon Green, she's the one who started me on this. She's pretty chatty, and she's from, I believe she's from Oklahoma. I'm not real sure if she's from that area, I'm pretty sure. She's got kind of a southern drawl, and, and she's funny. <laughs> I really like watching her. Um, so, that's why I do my long chatty videos, and, and they're not for everybody. If it's not for you, then, then um, you'll find something that you do enjoy, I'm sure. Um, so, and I just, that's what I do. So what can I chat about? Well, my daughter's going off to college in two weeks. This, this is Saturday. Next Sun, no, in two weeks on s Sunday. We have one more full weekend. This weekend and next weekend. And then, then Sunday we will be driving her two hours to her college. And getting her checked into her, moved into her dorm room. Yeah. So, but we won't have an empty nest because my brother David still lives with us. So, isn't that cute? But then I'm thinking, well, I'll have more time to play in my craft room <laughs> without my daughter here. Because my brother and I, we don't hang out together, in, even though we live in the same house. You know, some of these things just evolve. Um, this this thing right here, I've had this for years. I had several of them. And then I, they weren't getting used, so I, I put them on a colored paper and... and, and uh, cut around them to give them a, a colored background and then I used my corner punch and I made rounded corners and then I thought well, I need to make some kind of embellishment with that and then I'll use it and so then I added this live laugh and love and it's still uh, there we go now I finally used it let me see now I'm gonna look for something old green so I I am I guess I am adding <laughs> dimensional things after all so no that's too bold too bold you know what how would this little froggy look on there that's kind of cute let's add this little frog just for no reason just because I like to get stuff used up there now now my little bunny has a friend and it's a frog um maybe one more thing Here's a nice little flower. It's white. Does that stand out? Yep, that stands out good enough. Yep, that's good. Okay. So that's the reason why I make my chatty videos. And and um, I, I know I have some talent, but I don't really think I have a lot of talent. I'm not really trying to teach anybody anything. If I if I have any any good ideas I like to share them I, I I hope that people gain some good ideas from my stuff but whatever I just hope they enjoy watching my videos um, like like this idea you, you know keep your eyes open here's some nice clocks you can decorate with okay this this is very thick cardstock <laughs> there we go so there's three done and and I'm gonna do um, a border now and, and um, I just gathered up some stuff no I have no real plan um, I was gonna round the corners on these but it's got this design on it and I didn't want to cut that off so I'm gonna put that here um, and normally I try to avoid stuff that say Paris on it, but I think she looks like a nice little Paris bunny. I don't know what it is about her, but I, I just like her. Um, 
so I'm going to try to come up with something here. And this is, um, I showed you I was rearranging all of my flowers and butterflies and stuff. And, and I had all these die cuts and so I added something to it just so it can get used. So there's that. And here's Paris. Um, I think I'll put this stamp here just for no reason. Um, and and a button and a key and that and here's two of those tiny little little um tags that I made and I'm gonna use them. I I went through and I I used I don't know how many <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start gluing here. So today my daughter is um, packing up some stuff to take with her. She's got a list she found on the internet and she's she's gathering up stuff. And we've been shopping a couple of times. She got new bedding and, and those beds in the dorms take um, XL sheets. You can't just use regular sheets. So we got some uh, a bedding set. She she spent her own money from her own account, although most of the money I put in there myself. Uh, well, she did earn some money. She's had a part-time job. Okay, coming along. Um, Yeah, my husband just said to me yesterday, I think it was, he says, I bet you're going to be spending a lot of time in your craft room after she's gone. Yes. But he's he's gone. He leaves at 5, five o'clock in the evening and goes to work. He works 12-hour overnight shifts. But sometimes he has a day off in the middle of the week. Okay, I need my little razor blade. This is one of those stickers. It's it's very thin on on plastic backing. I don't really have a plan for this. I'm just, I'm just um, figuring it out as I go. I don't want to cover up my Paris word because it, and then I got Paris postage there. And my fingers are starting to get sticky. And one last thing. I don't think I'll add anything else to this one. But this is what I love to do. I love to put a lot of different little things on on a, a on something. Just use up a lot of things. I've got a washcloth here, a damp washcloth. I use that to wipe my fingers off because they get gluey, glued up. Okay. So there's three tags and one border done. I've got two more borders. Two, four, six, eight, ten more tags. And three glue book pages to do, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a glue book page right now. And a couple of my viewers are actually my Facebook friends, and whenever I finish anything, I I scan all of my tags and borders, and everything. There's a button I just found that goes on here someplace. there no big deal so they they see everything that I make and I just like to share my stuff okay this is not done of course um, so this is one of those things I printed 
off of Facebook. I mean, not off of Pinterest the other day with all the other stuff. And she's got a green apron, so I started with this green page, which I had filed away. I went through one day and I glued a whole bunch of scraps onto a page as kind of a base page. And then it was seeming kind of bare when I was working on it, so I thought I need something over here. So I just got a strip of paper. I have a lot of strips of paper. A lot. And I'll just add some more some more interest to the page. I, I'll add this. So I love doing scrapbooking, which I don't get to do very much because I'm caught up. Um, I do need to order some photos and then I'll have some more pictures. This is hanging off the edge a little bit, so I gotta trim that. So I do the, the scrapbooking. Uh, and then, and then um, when I got caught up, I started doing all the tags and borders because I was organizing all of my stuff and trying to use up all them little bits and pieces, which will never ever happen. <laughs> and uh, then I got into the glue books um, because how many tags and borders do I need? Which I have hundreds of them, hundreds. But I, I love. I, I don't think I can have too many of them. And if they never get used on my pages, they're they're still each is a little a little little work of art, in my opinion. So this is a cake out of a magazine, and I think it ha this stand has kind of a nice vintage feel. It goes good with with the apron. And you know, a lot of things that I have don't really I don't really need for my scrapbooking so the glue books were a great answer to that um, so because I'm not I don't do a lot of cooking pages that's not going to work too well in my scrapbook I'm going to flip the corner of this cake because I want I want it to overlap this, her green apron you'll see Okay, I'm going to put some more glue on this. So this is the end of July. It's around the... Today's the 27th of July, actually. And all the school supplies are out. And I usually... I used to go... And I used to buy glue sticks. <laughs> I would buy at least 50 or 60 two-packs of glue sticks when they were on sale. And then uh, a few years ago, I was almost out, and it was not school supplies time yet. So what am I going to do? So I went online at, on Walmart, and they had some pretty reasonable this, and they had a reasonable price on a on a box of 60 glue sticks. So ever since then, it's just a lot more convenient to order the 60. They cost less. If you if I buy two or three boxes of them, uh, it's 35 minimum order. You get free shipping. Um, so I get them shipped for free. And um, um, you don't have all that packaging to, to dispose of. And it, I just, I just think it's a good thing. <laughs> okay. So the glue book pages, you know, if you're not familiar with them, there's, there's really no rules. They can be. This one has kind of a theme, or you can go totally random. Nothing has to go to, with the other thing, you know. I just, just use images that you like and. And for me, there's images that I love. I love this. I like the rest. So you mix and match and you try to use things up and so you can get more because you always want to have more. <laughs> so this says apple pie, but that's strawberry cake, but it doesn't matter. This is a sticker. It doesn't seem too sticky. It says life is good. So I'm going to put that right there. And that page is done. So that's a... Oh, no. You know what? I messed up. Well, change of plan. I was going to put this lower and, and use some of these. I need to use these up. 
<laughs> I was going to put a banner up there. Oh, too late now. and It's not important. I'll use those another time. But I do need to work on using those. Okay, so there's a glue book page done. I'm going to move all this stuff over to my table and clear up me some space. Let's see. We'll do this little little tag here. So this was a pack of stickers, and it, this was the background behind the the clear thing with stickers on it. And, and it was pretty. I save it. And then I glued my little strips on there. And um, I have I save. God, I save everything. This is a little square scrap, and I rounded the corners. And I have a collection of those to use. So I'm going to use that as kind of a background on top of the other background. So that goes there. Then I got uh, got to use these circles up. I got a lot of circles. So I'm going to put that right there. I need to lower this a little bit because I need room to punch my hole for my tag, you know. Not that I usually put string through. And then here's a, another little, it's a little sticker with a heart on it. Put that right there. And this I cut out. That's that's two stacked teacups with a little bunny with a bow in his hair. It's so cute. Then a butterfly. This was a sticker and it had a lot of white border around it and I cut it down because I just thought that was too much. You know, sometimes you have to alter your, your embellishments to make them more desirable for you to use or else they just sit neglected for a long time. Okay. I want something right there. Too bad that's so big. That'll do it. I need a glue dot. I see my dogs are back in the house now and now they're they're calmed down. I don't know why they get so crazy. Alright. And there's a lot hanging off the sides, but you know what? That's that's fine. Okay. I do like teacups. Now this was, um, that was a popcorn box. Glued some scrap paper to it. This one I only used two little pieces hanging off instead of three because it's small. Then I've got this doily sticker. So I'm going to put that on there. And this is an old sticker from Disney Princess stuff. <laughs> it's like a, a rose with a rhinestone in the middle. So I'm going to use that. And then I got a stack of teacups with a bird singing right there with some greenery in it. It's really pretty. Uh, most of the time I leave my, st my stuff in rectangular form like this. But sometimes I actually cut it out. You know, you just got to follow your instincts. Okay, isn't that sweet? And I think, you know, this would look good on a glue book page. So I'm not going to I'm not going to add anything 3 3D to it. All right, I got a lot of tags and a lot of bunnies. No big deal. Okay, so that's a cereal box and and some part of a um, music book and some scrap paper and my little tags hanging off the side. This is got the green arena and the red pink flowers. So I I kind of mix the pink and the green. Um, 
So I got this little circle. I'm going to put that here. This is a sticker. This is one that I um, tried the RTS, rearranged the stuff, put stuff on sheets of wax paper, and then uh, I decided to move it to a different category, so I actually just cut it out and left the wax paper on it. Okay, and this will here. And then here's a little tag that I made the other day. Sometimes you could glue things on and, and the paper tears off the back, but it doesn't hurt the front. Then you got little things hanging off. You got to take that off. And I like to have these holes punched out because I, they are tag and I want to see the hole there. Um, put that right there. Oh, oh, I got this. This this is a stamp. It was actually in some scrapbooking supplies, postal service. Oh, I'm just making a little cluster of things here. Yeah, sometimes I like to make little clusters. Oh, I almost put it on sideways. <laughs> okay. Then I got a bug. We'll see. Well, I'm going to glue this down and see where things fit before I add anything else. Sometimes once you get things glued down, they don't look exactly the way you visualize them because you got more space here or there than you thought or, or whatever. Okay, I'm going to glue down my tag. I'm so happy I'm using these little tags. I really am. There. And this bug. I'm trying to use up my bugs. I had quite a collection of them and, and they're, I think they're good for little boys pages but I don't make little boys pages. I don't have any boys. Let's see. We'll put the bug right there. Isn't that cute? Okay, another tag done. Let's see, a mouse. I got a little mouse here. Um, got a little bug there. So this was actually some scrapbook paper and I just cut it into a tag. My, uh, you know, since I glued these on to, to um, scrapbook pages and they're in the page protector I don't worry about support so I don't care if it's a thin piece of paper or some good card stock I don't worry about that this is actually stiffer, stiffer than the tag uh, so here's this it's a butterfly pattern on, on a little square I use the words use it up use it up use it up a lot don't I <laughs> but th that's what you should be trying to do use up your stuff and not let it just sit around year after year after year and when you use up your stuff, you can go buy more stuff. Isn't it? That's the fun part, right? Okay, so that goes there. Um, I'm just going to lay him, sit him here right there. Um, so, And I will put this bug, this little ladybug right there. Using up them bugs. Um, and my little tag, got to poke out the hole. Tear off the extra scrap of paper from when it was glued down. So I'm kind of using the green and and um as I said in my video when I was rearranging my stuff, I I had I had everything organized by color. And then I recently I decided I'm gonna move, change from color to put all the flowers together, all the butterflies together, etc. etc and um, see how it works so I'm seeing how it's working <laughs> and so far so good but I'm still kind of sticking to the color themes um, and having the colors the um, stuff separated by theme instead of color is not really a problem it's working out but I'm more more leaning well easily more easily I can um, mix and match the colors more and maybe I should do that um, I have more freedom. Let's just put it that way. There we go. I think uh, I think I want a button. I'm going to get me a green button. Or an orange button. Can I have any orange buttons? Not very many, but I'm going to use an orange button. There. Just a little 
little something something, you know. Okay. I think a medium glue dot will do for this button. Yep. There. Uh, these that I hang off the sides, sometimes I think they're a nice little canvas for something to finish off. And imagine a, a, a ribbon with a round thing on top, uh, you know, a, like an award ribbon. It's got the round thing on top and the ribbon's hanging down. This is totally abstract, but that's kind of the way I see it. So this one is done. Looking for my punch. I got it. There. So cute. All right. I don't know how long this video is running, but I don't really care. This was, um, yeah, I glued paper onto a scrap of cardboard, Glu glued on my little side pieces. Um, so, I think I'll hang this ribbon off right there. And using up these circles that one was not not a sticker this one is a sticker the, the wax paper is not the perfect solution it's, it's a good solution but sometimes it sticks a little bit too much okay now I'm going to glue down my little mouse Try to give you a better look at her. this cute little mouse. So she's flying over a little village on a bird with reins. And she's wearing a little bonnet and a pretty little dress. And, and the, her bonnet strings flying in the wind. That's so adorable. Okay. Uh, so I got this little paper button little clusters I like little clusters I don't know this needs something it, it needs more I'm gonna have to figure out what I think it needs some flowers I wonder I wonder if I have room for a silk flower definitely maybe something slightly bigger than that maybe It's, it's, yeah, or maybe, yeah, over there, over there, yes, that's good. I'm going to. It'll be alright once it's behind a scrapbook page, but I'm going to glue this petal down a little bit. It's kind of wrinkly. And that's not work. Well, that's fine. Okay, now i, I got to have... Well, maybe I'll add two. I got two. Let's add two flowers. No reason why not. Ugh. Because it does need something there. So then I need stuff. <laughs> okay, there's a little foam circle right there. And I think I want a clear rhinestone. Right there. And since we're gussing things up so much, let's add this butterfly. There. There. I've used a lot of things. 
on that page. On that, that tag. Let me show you what I got going on. I've, I've shown this before. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Isn't that pretty? Roses on it. And I bought it and I thought, what am I going to do with it? I just think it's so pretty. And I do have a lot of roses in my room. So I've got, I took some um, colored paper. Here's a green folder here. Blue. I have a folder for each of my colors. And within each folder, I have a bag of buttons. Green buttons green silk flowers and this got in the wrong place and green um, just rhinestones and little hard chunky things with some sequins um, just various things that are not really stickers or that are not really paper and then I decorate my stuff with them and I've got that on a little table right next to my chair I have one of them rolling um, plastic drawer units with the drawers. I keep my stamps in there. Not that I ever stamp. <laughs> you know, yeah, stamps. But I've got that pulled up next to my chair with that box on top, so that works for me. I think that we're about due for another border. So, I've got this border. Um, glued some strips of, of stuff to a um, scrap of paper. This is my border box. And in the front, see I've got these dividers here. Whatever strips I come across, here's my pink. Um, I use a, a, a piece of paper folded in half. I, I made it a little narrower so it's not sticking up too high. And I, I add scraps, solid in print. Uh, there's some vellum here. Um, pink you know and then these sticker border stickers that come along things like that and then then I you know, I do sort those by color so that I've got that and I can pull it out and put it on my desk and look through it and put it back easily and refile it easily and then what I see they accumulate and when I get a lot I go through since we're looking at pink and I have this pink little folder and I folded it like this so it's thicker and I just glue a bunch of strips onto paper I think these are two and three quarters that's the size that I happen to like and of course they're 11 inches instead of 12 if you do 12 you should always you should do 12 inches and even if you do eight and a half by 11 sometimes you can just trim an inch off of your 12 inch but these are my border bases so because I love making <laughs> tags and borders and I always put my things that I sort by color I always put in the same order they're not necessarily the colors you would use I always do green starting in the back green blue purple pink red orange yellow brown black gray and multicolor so that works for me okay here we go so I got this cute little bunny with uh, flowers. It's a watercolor picture that goes there. This is a journal card. Wh what am I going to do with it? And I actually, I trimmed it off a little bit because it was kind of wide. So this this thing needs more stuff. I'm going to look through my pink stickers. I don't have pink stickers anymore. <laughs> I'm going to look through my stickers and, and uh, see what I can use to add some more stuff to it. You can add as little as or as much as you like. There's no really no rules. Keep your stuff simple or use up a lot of bits and pieces that the way I like to do. That's just kind of a, a style I've developed over the years. You know what? I want a circle. Right now before I glue down the edge of that circles. I hope my chair's not squeaking too much today. Sometimes I watch my videos and I hear squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> you probably noticed that too. And I've noticed um, 
a lot of times um, when I'm flipping through papers and stuff, it sounds like I'm going, like I'm slurping or something, and, I, and I'm not. I don't think I am. Oh, this is a pretty little circle. Yeah, I'm going to put that one on there. Made that with my circle punch. So I got stars in here. I don't think I want a star. Um, so I used the circle there. I got to get these back in the envelope. I, I try to put things away right away and not let things pile up and get scattered all over my room. Sometimes I will. I have a table over there. Over there, in some of my other videos, I've shown my room and and I well I actually have a wicker chair over there and I have a, a like oh, three by six folding table and I put that right right over my chair and um I think I'll add a heart and then I spread out my glue book stuff there and I usually stand up and kind of shop around for stuff okay I gotta glue this a little bit like going on all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. So I'll put that there. This needs a little more glue. I waited too long. Okay. I glued that down. So I'm going to add a butterfly. And I got ahead of myself. I think maybe I'll kind of let it over, overlap a heart. So here's my heart. This is a big one. I didn't glue that down. So I kind of need something pink. Maybe something a little bigger. That's not really pink, but I like it. Just trying to use up my stuff. I try to keep things organized so I can just, I know exactly where things are. I can quickly look through things. But I still need to add some more stuff to this. Okay. So we'll add that right there. And the butterfly here. And I got a little tag that I made. It's so simple. Just, just add a little sticker to a little tiny tag and you got a little, little embellishment. Okay, what else can I add? Can I add a silk flower? This one's pretty cute, but no, it's not too big. There, that's that's what I'm going to add, and I think that will about do it. Of course, I got to have something in the middle. Okay, I'm going to need a big glue dot for that, maybe two. This is this is kind of a thick flower. Not stuck to my fingers. <laughs> Here we go. There. That's not going anywhere. And now, what can I get on there? I don't know how these purple ones got in with the pink ones. I think because they're hot pink, and I actually have some purple that are more purple. When you put it next to the when you put it next to the purple, it looks pink, and then when you put it next to the pink, it looks purple. Well, that's that's kind of sticking up a little bit, but it'll be fine on a on a scrapbook page. Okay. Well, the video is I don't know how long it's going, but if you're just work playing in your craft room and uh, you know just have, we'll share a little time together. That's all. Okay. I got this. I didn't add much to this one. 
sure I've got this bunny. I think I want a larger circle. The circles are just maybe a rectangle or a square. Let me see. I've got this box with some journal cards and um, some fancy shapes. What color do I need? Yellow? No, I don't think I can see anything in there I want. Um, ovals? Do I have anything small? Oval? There's an oval. I just need something there. And I want this to stand out, so I'm going to use some green, maybe? You know what? I got some paint pens. Do I have a light green? Yes. I got these paint pens at five below. So that, you know, never mind that, never mind that. I, no plan here. I'm going to use Distress Ink. My lightest color. The other ones always seem so dark. Okay. I'm not real good at this. But it just makes it more interesting, you know? There. That'll do. And maybe I should let it dry before I put it on there, but I'm not going to. Now, what does this have to do with, with my tag? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You just got to use your imagination and, and put things together and see how it works out. So, this is a bunny along with, uh, with some yellow flowers. And then I got a little tag with a yellow butterfly on it. Now that does not stand out. Oh. I think I will go around that with a green paint pen. Make it stand out a little bit. Nothing fancy. <laughs> I don't really claim to know what I'm doing. I really don't. Now this ain't working good. I'm going to make it look like grass. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully the glue is still... Oh, I will glue it again. There. Okay, I got a white, plain white sticker. What are you going to do with a plain white sticker? Just put it on there. I got a couple of yellow stickers. And I have this sticker with the heart on it. It wants to stick to my finger. And, okay, I'm going to put the, my pink pen back. And it needs something. Let me get out my yellow stuff. There's a nice yellow flower. Or doesn't stand out a lot, but that's okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and get that put on there with my mediums. Well I'll go for large. Large size glue dot. there. And what do I have in here? Here we go. I think I bought a sheet of these in assorted colors at Dollar Tree and I cut them up. They're not they're not paper stickers. So that's why I put them in, in with this. It helps a lot to have your stuff well organized, I believe. Alright, punch a hole. 
Okay. And another tag. <laughs> I'm going to be needing a new glue stick pretty soon. This one's getting low, I can tell. Okay. So. I got these stickers. So this is a cereal box or something. And uh, these are the strips um, that were across the tops of paper uh, in a paper pad. And I don't throw away anything. I glued them on here. And then I added my little little colorful edges. What am I doing? Okay, then I've this came on a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook with different things you can cut out and use. This this would be like a photo frame, but I don't I don't use that kind of photo frame. So um, I'm gonna use it, just use it on a scrap to use it. So I'm, I decided I'm gonna put it over here. It's a little off kilter, which is kind of what I want. And then look at this cute little bunny. I thought I had an another little animal somewhere. I, don't I thought I had something down here. I'm missing some things. Well, there, there's that. Well. So here's this cute little mouse and he's got a basket on his head of these these little mice with wings. They're like fairy mice. And then it, there was also this tiny little mouse, fairy mouse. I'm going to get that put on there. And it was kind of flying ahead of him like this on, on what I printed. Okay, and then I got my tiny little tag. I can't tell you how, how happy I am to be using these after all these years I've been collecting them and they're just accumulating. I haven't really been collecting them so to speak. This is an old sticker. The, uh, um, all of these little things have been accumulating for a while and, and I'm just thrilled. There's a, and here's an old star. So I'm just creating a little cluster here. And I'm going to call that one done. It's kind of busy with, all, with this background so I think I don't need to add anything else. Alright, I've got... I think I'm about due to do a glue book page. So, started out with this. I wanted to make a glue book with that. I showed it in a previous video, if you didn't see my previous video. I bought this book at, for I think it was $2 at, at Five Below. And um, there's mandalas to color. And I will cut this out and put it on the edge of a glue book page. I don't waste nothing. Whatever is the best. Um, but I colored this and I thought, you know, that kind of reminds me of a stained glass window. I got to use that on a glue book page. So then I picked out this. My daughter and I went outside, out to the garage one day, and we colored like 40 sheets of computer paper with our, with our, um, this is our watercolors. And what I did was, um, all through grade school and maybe into junior high, you got to buy those watercolors every year for your kids and we don't throw away nothing. But I'd buy her the fresh watercolors. So I went through most of her col colors and broke out the color chips and put them in there. You know, all the greens in one, all the orange in one. And then when we want a watercolor, I fill it about that full with water and mix it up a lot. And then we splatter and <laughs> just make a mess. Um, and it's fun. And then, then I, I stash this under a dresser or somewhere in my craft room and it takes 
maybe about a month and, and it will dry up again and be ready for the next time. So, I'm not going to, well you might have got a glimpse of my other elements before, but I'm not going to show them to you at this moment. Um, oh, and for this, I treated myself to some big glue sticks for my bigger items. Usually I only have the small glue sticks, but with school supply time, I saw these bigger ones and, and I knew I, they were there and I've used them before and they last so much longer. And with a lot of the big items that I put on my glue book pages, I thought, I, I think I need some of those. Okay. There. Then I've got this lady I cut out of a magazine. I like that. So I'm going to get her all glued up. I don't actually have a glue book glue book going right now. Because I finished one recently and I haven't started a new one. And I haven't really decided what the subject is going to be. But I will definitely make a random one again. And this will go in the random pages. Mostly I make Victorian ones. I think I missed a little right there. There. Isn't that look cool? And then this dog with the pink and the green, I think it looks good, good with this. So I'm going to glue that on. make it a little bit up high then I've got this I have so many little words that say friends and, and I don't use friends much in my scrapbooks so I try to use them up whenever I can and there I know exactly where they are so I can easily find them so a lot of times I like to add, a, like my glue book, like my tags, I like to add a lot of things to my pages. And sometimes I, I just stop and say, that's enough. No, nope, that's not enough. I need a butterfly. I'm going to add a butterfly. A large butterfly. So, here we go. And here's what I do a lot. I try not to think too much. I see this yellow one on top. There. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking through everything that I have. I do look through fairly often. And I know what I have to a point. So, I'm going to use this. And try not to think a lot about my stuff. I just throw it together. Okay. There. That's cute. Now it's done. I promise. It's done. Okay. So, here's a different little tag. Um, I just stuck these things on here for the moment. So, this is a tag that I actually bought a book of tags because they're a little bit different shape. Added my little green hangy things. Um, and I got some stickers here. I don't think I'll make this one too busy. So I'm going to add this flower and this, this cute little bunny in a green dress with a teapot. That just appealed to me. The, the, if you go on Pinterest and if you have a printer and a computer, you go go on Pinterest. Maybe you can print from your phone. I'm not, I don't do that. But you download stuff and print it. Oh, there is just no end to the adorable things that you can find there. Um, and almost any subject. So I got a butterfly, and I'm just going to add some glue to all of this stuff, even though it's a sticker. So put that there. Here's a little doily, tiny little lace doily. I'm going to put that there. And a little green flower. I'm going to put that 
there. And I think that's done. And I don't have to punch this one. It came pre-punched. All right. It's going to be the last border for today. So, I don't have my plan exactly laid out. So, there's one of my border bases that I make. I've got this adorable little mouse with his watering can watering his flowers. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Um, I think I think I will add I got this daisy. Where's this gonna land? I want it to overlap a little bit. I think I'll put it right there. Just for no reason. Just planning as I go. Not planning. <laughs> it's more like it. Okay. So there's a dead glue stick. I always put my new cap on my old glue stick and throw it away. And there's my old cap with marking on it. And I always know that this is the one that I'm using. Then I don't have several glue sticks going all at once. Okay. I always like to tilt my stuff, just my little quirk, so you do things the way you like it. Um, this is one of those things that evolved. This is a journal card, and I like to make things my own, and I just use it as is. So I added some flowers to it, and I could add that to a border and write something on it. There you go. So whatever, whatever page I use this one on, I, it's going to need a little bit of a story. So uh, we got that. And then I got this sticker, a butterfly sticker. Still got plenty of room to write. Um, come on, get down there. A long time ago, I was so frugal. I took a bunch of my daughter's barrettes and, and little things and I laid them on my scanner and I scanned them. This was a little plastic star and I got an embellishment. <laughs> And I've had this for years and years, and I am using it. So, I'm going to put that right there. Here's one of my little tiny tags that I made. I'm going to get that used up. Kind of going with the yellow flower theme here. Okay, that's good enough. Here's a little little paper button. Hmm. No plan here. Just, just, just go figuring out as I go. And there's a little tiny yellow star. Just got to use things up. I'll put it there. And I think that's done. Okay. So here's um. A little bunny with some flowers. Here's one of my tags I made. This is a cheese it box. I added some, um, I tea dyed some music sheets and some other stuff one day. And then I used my distress ink and inked that up and, and made a vintage looking base. I added some red stuff because there's red flowers here. Uh, so I'm going to glue this on. So here's my little tag, one of my little tags that I recently made. And then two of these little flowers, they were like little die cuts. <coughs> I actually cut them out myself years ago. And then I laid all my die cut flowers on a couple of pages and thought they were really boring. I just showed this, this I made this video like a week ago. Uh, and I put stuff in the middle and some of my drew around. And nice embellishments, homemade embellishments. Yes, I'm very, very frugal. So, I like to have things hanging off the side, don't forget. Hmm. 
there. That's done. Just punch my hole. Okay, now this one. Again, this is this is from um, a scrapbooking paper, I think. And um, I glued some scraps to it. I glued my little things off the edge. So this is a cute little bunny. Now I could have cut her out. Uh, she had some kind of a background. I decided to just leave a rectangular. This one and this one were on the ends of there were 12 inch border sticker strips and I cut an inch off because I only use 11 inch and I save those little scraps. Okay. So we'll put her right there. This is a sticker. I'm going to put that right there. This is a paper button. I think I'll put that right here. And it, it needs it needs something right there. Let's see what I got in my pink stuff. You know what? I I got some foam stickers. I need to use some of those. So I think a heart. Where's my heart? Here's my heart. And here's my foam hearts. Um, I think this one. There. Another little heart fell out. A little blue heart. You know what? I'm just going to stick it on. Oh, you know what? I got a blue thing going on over here. So I'll put it on there. And there's another heart. Orange. They fell out of the bag, so I'm using them. <laughs> there. Okay. So I'll punch a hole, and it's done. And I don't know if you can see this, but this scrapbook paper has a scratch in it. But you know what? I don't care. It's kind of a vintage look. <laughs> okay. So, this I know, um, I get a lot of stickers with this. This is the background of the stickers. I added my little things. Um, I've got this circle. I punched it out of something. And you know, I don't claim to have a lot of imagination. <laughs> and you notice a lot of my stuff have the same d pattern. I got my, my main subject at an angle. I got my little things hanging off the side. I got a circle here. Um, you don't really have to have a lot of imagination. If you find something that kind of works for you, of course it varies a lot on every everything you do. But it's the ba same basic thing. Um, it doesn't really matter. If it's, if it's working for you, go for it. Okay, so I got this pretty little stack of teacups. This is some postage. What's the right setup? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put that right there. And one of my little tags. I'm so happy I'm using these up. I can't tell you how happy I am about that. This is a little awl that I got out of the garage. Very old. I keep that with my tools. I keep needle nose pliers with my tools. Okay, and then there's the little, little um, blue sticker that fell out of my heart sticker bag when I had it out. What the heck? Just use it. There. Oh, my hands are getting very sticky now. And I have one more tag to do and one more glue book page. And then that's going to be it for this video. And I hope it's not getting too long. I hope you're just enjoying your crafting time. And we'll spend a little time together. Oh.
Okay. One more little tag. I don't think my I don't think I wipe my fingers off too well. My fingers are still sticky. I think I'm kind of up under my nails. So I'm wiping off my fingers. Okay. So this was scrapbooking paper. I know that. Uh, the, you know the back of the pad, and I glued some strips of green paper to it. Added my little things hanging off. <clears throat> I've got this cute little bunny. And a little dress. Isn't she sweet? So like I said, I printed off all of these subject things for my from Pinterest the other day and I usually I usually file them away so I got stuff to work with. Not this time, I'm just using it all up. Then I got these three little buttons, they're paper buttons. Pink, green, and um yellow. So I'm making a little cluster of them there. That's kind of sweet. It needs it needs more. How about a butterfly? Or a flower. Let's go with a flower. I have so many flowers. I have two bags of these flowers. And maybe I should use up a foam flower as well. I really want to get rid of them. I've been working for a long time trying to get rid of these foam flowers. So I've got those. Oh, this one's pretty cute. That's not really, that's a newer one actually, I think. Maybe. But there's pink and green. Okay, I've got this. I, I added some of these tiny things. So I have a nice little tiny butterfly I can add to that. Let's see. Let's go with the, this one right here. There. And you know what? Why don't we just add a flower too. I, I really want to get these used up. It's not too much. I think I need a real button right there. And that should be it. It's hard when you're when you're when I lay these things out before I start gluing them together. It's kind of hard to judge how they're going to look once you get everything glued together. Plus, I'm doing them all at the same time kind of. So it's kind of hard to concentrate on the details of each one and then once you're gluing them together it's kind of hard to, to uh, see how they're going to look. I'm looking for my green buttons. Here we go. There. I need a button. Uh, glue dot. I think this one is done. Now this one has some paper hanging off the edge from from uh, being glued onto a piece of paper. There we go. Now make a room here. I'm gonna do one one more thing, and it's a glue book page. Uh, this is a an old scrapbook. I got it at a thrift shop. Never been filled in the pages. This is going to be my third Victorian treasure. I call it Victorian treasure glue book. And I've laid this stuff out. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to glue it on. Now most of these glue books have... Um, um, what was I going to say? They have black pages. But this one has some brown pages. So I'm going to fill this whole book with um, Victorian stuff. And this will be going to be my third book. I haven't counted the pages. Usually they have about 50, about 25 pages. So you get a total of 50 on the, you know, when you cover both sides. So, this is from a magazine. Isn't that a pretty Victorian living room? So this is going to be the beginning of my next Victorian book. Uh, I don't know if I'm really ready to get down and really work on it yet. Really get started on it. But I had... 
this one item that I printed that I wanted on my Victorian, Victorian glue books. Since I was using up everything else, I thought I would just get right on that. Now right here, this my large glue stick is really coming in handy. It's 